Hi, I'm Mark Bishop. I'm with Lintech, and we're here at this uh, outdoor demo uh, showing off our brand new mobile power distro. If you've ever heard of Lintech before, or perhaps uh, if you're not that familiar with us, to give you a little background, Lintech has been making power control systems for the professional audio video lighting industry since 1992. Primarily audio sequencing from 92 until the early 2000s, and then from 2005 uh, up until present day we've been doing lighting as well. And what we're best known for is working with Schneider Electric's motorized circuit breakers. So this is a cutaway of a circuit breaker. Now this operates like a standard circuit breaker. If the handle ever were to uh, either manually or because of too much current trip back, uh, it operates exactly like a standard circuit breaker. You can't operate it. You can't uh, make it change states. But as long as the handle's in the on position, and I've got just a little battery pack back here, you can see that armature move about an eighth of an inch and that's opening and closing the circuit. And that switching mechanism is patented by Schneider Electric by Square D, and this circuit breaker is made by uh, Square D. And uh, what Lintech manufactures is the low voltage control uh, circuit boards and software that allows you to interface uh, with this breaker and turn it on and off at will, and measure current and other things that you want to do. So it's a switch grade, it's known as a switch grade motorized circuit breaker made by Schneider Electric. And again, what Lintech manufactures is the low voltage control. So we can load out a panel to your specification. Motorized circuit breakers are available in one, two, or three poles, 15, 20, or 30 amps. And of course, we can mix and match with unmotorized circuit breakers as well. Uh, but we load to your specification and then, of course, connectorize it uh, as you would like. And then in order to operate it, you come up to our low voltage control. We have a web server built into our control system. There's an actual web server as part of our controller. So you would take the assigned IP address, hook your control board or your control uh, cabinet up to a Ethernet connection, and this just happens to be going down to a uh, uh, wireless uh, router underneath the, uh, down on the floor here. Uh, but with that, we take the IP address, we put it into our favorite browser, and this happens to be Safari, but it can be Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever you prefer, and presto you gain access to our, our uh, user interface. Uh, so, but because it's browser-based, uh, whether you're working with an iPhone, an iPad, an Android phone, it really doesn't matter. Uh, anything with a browser in it can access the uh, information in the GUI and allows you to program and or control uh, the panel. So here's how it works. You, you see the uh, representation of the panel. This is your circuit number. This is the one the electrician cares about, what circuit it is. You can obviously customize or name that circuit. Uh, this is the address column. Uh, you can address these individually based on however you're controlling it. Uh, you can use our browser to set it up. You can use our browser to control the panel, but you don't have to. You can also control this with DMX, streaming ACN, RS-232, or TCP IP control protocols. So you can really control this with the uh, control uh, methodology that you prefer uh, to work with. The next column here, you'll see it says current. So the current column will show you the actual draw, the current draw per individual circuit. So you can monitor uh, how your, uh, you know, you can do uh, instantaneous load balancing, for instance. So every time you put another fixture on a, on a circuit, you would see exactly what impact that gives to the, to the control. And then the next one is what we call the circuit breaker button. And with the circuit breaker button, I'm going to go down here to circuit 37, and you'll, if you kind of watch this light bulb back here, you'll see that when I, I can actually control this circuit, I can turn that light on or off via the circuit breaker simply by clicking that button bar. So that's kind of what we enable you to do on a larger scale. So as opposed to the energy management or the power control systems that control things at the outlet level, we're actually turning electrical devices on and off at the circuit level. And this allows you to control powered speakers, for instance, that are hung high in the air, uh, LED fixtures. Uh, any device that draws electricity obviously has to go back to a circuit breaker panel at some point so we can control that for you or give you the capability to control it at, at will. Um, some additional uh, uh, functionality of this is if you, if you were to punch on the actual circuit breaker uh, or, or the current draw tab, you can pull up a graph and you can see uh, uh, the activity on that particular circuit. So during the demo periods, for instance, uh, at one o'clock, there it goes, bad fingers. But you can see what your maximum draw is, what your low, what your high, and what your average draw is per circuit anytime, day or night. So if the 
viewer, for instance, to have uh, uh, problems with the power you're drawing off the grid, you'd be able to supply the uh, utility with exact information about what dropped out and when and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of uh, capabilities in terms of, of uh, drilling down into the energy uses. Um, the on-off we showed you, the current monitoring, we talked about the web server. So really that's the, that's the big three pieces that we bring to power management. We bring the uh, built-in browser that allows you to, or the built-in web server that allows you to view and control the electricity on any browser, the on-off control via the switch grade circuit breakers, and of course the current monitoring all the way down to the branch level. So we've got this in mobile form, installed form. If you'd ever like any information, please give us a shout at Lintech. Thanks very much. And what's your web address? www.lintech, that's L-Y-N-T-E-C.com. Thank you.